When people mention higher dimensions, we tend to think of some parallel universe, outer space type of... <coughs> However, physicists do believe that there are 11 dimensions of space-time that exist around us all the time. In this video, I'm going to describe to you the fourth and fifth dimensions. Trying to understand the higher dimensions can become really, really complicated. The first three dimensions are very simple because we live within them. We have mastered the first three dimensions, even as babies. By understanding these higher dimensions, we can greatly influence the way we see the world, as well as develop our positive mindset and attitude. So let's get to it. The first dimension is very, very simple. It's best described as a point. In the first dimension, there is only length. A point would be on that line. If you were a first dimensional being, you could move back and forward. That's all. If the universe only existed on one dimension, let's say the universe was a number line from one to 10, you could plot your position like saying you are at six or at three. In the first dimension, you only have length, nothing else. Moving up to the second dimension, it's also pretty simple. We can move forward and back as well as up and down. We can move along two axes, thus giving us area, not just length. If the universe existed on the second dimension, we could plot our position like six and three, and we would know exactly where we are. Moving up to the third dimension, which is the dimension we all live in, the material world. We are able to move forward and back on the x-axis, move up and down on the y-axis, and move in a diagonal position, which is the z-axis. Living on the third dimension, we can plot exactly where we are in space. So I could plot my position as six, three, seven, and you would know exactly where I am. However, these three dimensions are very simple. Now we're going to move on to the fourth dimension, as well as the fifth, which does get kind of complicated. Moving on to the fourth dimension. If we already know where we are in the third dimension, how can we be more specific as to where we are if we moved up a dimension? In the fourth dimension, we can plot our relativity in space to time. In a nutshell, the fourth dimension is time. It gives us a more specific method of plotting where we are in space relative to time. So we can plot our third dimensional position by saying, I am at home. It gives my latitude, longitude, and altitude. But to be more specific on my fourth dimensional position, I could say I am at home at four in the afternoon. I hope that's not too difficult a concept to grasp because we're moving on to the fifth dimension. Now what the fifth dimension is all about is it considers possibilities. It considers how many different possibilities could happen. So at this moment in space and time, I am right here or I could be right here, or I could be right here. There are actually an infinite amount of possibilities of where I could be at any given time. And all of these possibilities exist within the fifth dimension. There is an ocean of infinite possibilities that exist at every given time. However, us stuck in the third dimension will only unfold one of these possibilities. Take me for example, I could do a million different things this evening. However, I will only end up doing one order of things, which will unfold to be my third dimensional manifestation. But you see, these infinite number of possibilities don't exist as matter. They don't exist in the physical realm. So how do they exist? What do they exist? What these possibilities do exist as is energy. There is literally an ocean of infinite possibilities floating around you, and you are going to bring one of them into your manifestation. See, we are stuck in time. We are not fourth dimensional beings, so we have to flow along with time. And as time goes by, we pull one of those possibilities into the third dimension, and then it turns out to be how we spend our day. We then end up losing all those possibilities, but we don't even consider them because we don't live in a fifth dimension. But here's something I really want to tell you. You see, this ocean of infinite possibilities that exists in the fifth dimension, we can actually interact with them because they exist as energy. You see, they exist as energy in the quantum field. The fifth dimension is what is known as the quantum 
field. In this quantum field lies infinite possibilities that exist as energy on a certain frequency. You see, our eyes are only able to perceive a tiny portion of the light spectrum. Our visible light is only around 1% of all the light that exists. So if you were able to see the entire light spectrum, your bodies would look something like this. What I'm trying to say here is you are a mass of energy vibrating at a very, very high speed on a certain frequency. Your heart plays the biggest part in emitting this energy. The magnetic energy of the heart is 9,000 times stronger than that of the brain. You see, as we are constantly emitting energy and there is an ocean of infinite possibilities that exists around us, the energy we are emitting and the energy that is around us can interact. Interacting with the energy in the quantum field is the science behind manifesting your thoughts into your reality. However, the details on that is definitely for another video. So to conclude, the fourth dimension is time and the fifth dimension considers all the infinite possibilities that could have been. They all exist in the fifth dimension. However, we only see one of them because we're stuck in the third dimension. As we move up to higher dimensions from here, it only just gets way too crazy. I might give Einstein a call to help me out. If you've enjoyed my video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All is appreciated and have a blessed day.